Hello, let's talk about the brand's bridge and the issue you've been having. So if we actually um, enlarge this, and I can show you, uh, along here you can see the numbers are missing. You see 15 to 23. That, that happens when you actually use the filter button, which means that some of the um, position here is also hidden as well. So if I actually just do one and two, like this, make it into a white color, and then drag this down. And so you can see the numbers are in order. But however, if I actually go here and use the filter to select all, this is just a demonstration to show you that um, what is happening. So you see, if we were to use the filter to um, hide, um, we use the filter to um, hide it off. Um, this line will be missing. This line will be missing. These lines will be missing. And all of these sections will be missing. So I hope this demonstration will actually explain to you why some of the um, lines have been missing along here. That's because you used the filter button. That's, that's what it was. And so the second um, problem with, with it is when you um, do this, um, it will be shift number three instead of shift number four. So you will actually experience some problems and um, the drop down is actually referring to this. So therefore, I made you a brand new um, bridge. I haven't quite finished with it. I uh, will polish it off after I make this video. So on your links um, tab, um, you will have um, the version you're using in this position here. And the new version will be version number three. And it will be just next to it in your tab. Um, so that uh, you know that I haven't deleted the work which you have planned already. But um, once you're ready, you just move on to the version three and expire version two. Yeah. Yes. So we'll go to um, version number three on a Monday to show you the uh, changes I made. So if we do F11 for full screen and um, take this up. And so um, if you notice, I have moved the positioning from all the way down here to here. So that is easier for you because I heard from Anthony, um, this is most useful when you're actually working. And I have also frozen um, this part so you can actually see who is actually working. And um, I know that you actually use um, the filter button, which uh, will hide some of the, uh, the wording here. So my recommendation is for you to use the... Um, sort function. So I'm going to give you a demonstration of how I would do this. So first of all, I'm going to select the area that I, want, I wanted to sort. I'm not going to be deleting this because you could actually recycle it to make um, everything go a bit quicker for you. So I'm actually sorting it until the end of the list just here. Okay. Um, here, column C to column M, but it could be column L if you want. And then once it's selected, go to um, data sort. Now I actually want to sort the time. So I'll go to column D. Now this part is quite uh, important. You you actually sort it backwards because um, I'll show you sort. So once you sort it backwards, all the people who are not working will be at the bottom. But however, the uh, the actual time of them coming in is actually backwards. So I'm going to do a second sort. So this time I'm going to select here like this until here. Okay, C to L and everybody's working. Go to data, 
sort. Uh, remember, I'm sorting the time. So column D. This time, I'm doing A to Z sort. Now, this way, um, you will have all the people who are in right at the top. So when you're not hiding this, you won't be blocking. Uh, you're not hiding this part. Yeah. So I thought that would be a quite a good tip for you. And of course, you don't really need to delete everybody and to start again because um, uh, the work you have done would be valid. However, if you do want to start afresh, I would suggest that you could actually select a line like this. I'm selecting it from F to M and then pull upwards or pull downwards or, or, or um, whatever um, that is easier. So all I'm doing is just um, uh, copying the formula back. Yeah. Um, you see this part, you have got uh, the, the spaces. So I'm going to condense the spaces. So I will go to the position. And these are actually the spaces. Okay. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to um, copy here, paste. Okay. And then copy. Always copy a bit more because then you will uh, cover uh, the, the end part. Paste. Okay. Copy paste that will be control c and control v it will go back to um number one can you see all of this is like this without a gap so you can actually just select with your heart's content like this yeah i hope this will be useful for you um control um so um, sorry, F11 to go back to a normal screen. So we have got week one and then we have got week two. So if week, um, if week one is actually going to be same as week two in terms of the positioning, you can just um, grab this data like this, copy, go to week two and then go to um, position. And just paste it in. This will be um, a much quicker way of doing it. So, like this. Now, um, what I'm seeing is, so if I actually, okay, so this is actually um, um, week week two it could be any day. So if I actually select um, the name list, okay, it's counting forty two. And then if you actually go to the position, the position here is also 42 as well. So, um, but then um, not everybody is going to be turning up to work at the same time. So you get a lot of blanks, which means you could actually just um, get rid of more of this positioning. You can actually get rid of at least five or seven more because not everybody is going to turn up for work maybe except black friday yeah so that is something which you could actually do and cut down more positioning but if you want to refer to, just copy all of these and copy paste paste back yes so that's it really thank you very much goodbye